bad book. I don't know why. I don't know what's up with all these people pooping on it. And I was like, that's all I'm saying, man. That's all I'm saying. So, I mean, not, not every conservative is horrible. Um, have you been to any mosques? No, but tomorrow my friend is getting married, alhamdulillah. Um, so uh, I'm going to be going to the mosque for the first time tomorrow. Um, I've been, if you know me, I've mentioned I've been very scared of the mosque. I have really bad social anxiety. The mosque is just really intimidating for reverts. It's something that we kind of just all have in common. It's very intimidating. It's scary. So um, yeah, I, uh, I'm going to be going tomorrow. I'm very, very, very nervous. But of course, I wouldn't miss my friend's Nika. It'll be my first Muslim wedding as well. Um, so I'm so, so excited to experience it. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to wear. But yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. Uh, Regina has lots of natives. Yes, we have a very, like a large population of uh, people indigenous here to Canada. Um, Alhamdulillah. It's actually, it's a very, like, that's one thing I, one good thing I can say about Regina is it is very inclusive for Native people. Um, there is a lot of programs for rehabilitation um, for uh, Native people. And then obviously we have the Native University here in Regina. Um, so yeah, no, we have a very high population of Indigenous people. Um, that's not in any way a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. Um, I, well, I mean, my best friend's Native, so... Um, they're human beings just like everybody else. Um, I'm, I, I'm very passionate about Native culture. That's one of my, like, little quirks. Uh, since I was little, I've just been so infatuated with, um, Indigenous First Nations culture. <sighs> I don't know why. I think it's maybe because I don't have any. <laughs> Enjoy the Bible. I'm hoping I can purchase a Bible so I can read it again. Um, I just think and I just believe that there is a better book. I just believe that another book was revealed after the Bible. I just believe that the Bible was switched and we can't 100% say it's accurate to a T. Um, and it isn't accurate to a T because we can see errors in it. Um, and seeing the Quran, it, it just makes sense to me, that's all. Um, I have nothing against the Bible. I have nothing against Jesus. I love Jesus. If anything, we're not supposed to pick favorite prophets, but I really resonate with him. I, I love him so much. Um, but I, I, I have no ill, ill words or anything towards Christians or the Bible. Um, I left Islam when I studied the Quran. I have no idea why you do that. I've never heard that statement before, <laughs> ever. Are you learning Arabic? Inshallah. Not yet. Um, I'm just like way too busy, but I, I want to learn Arabic. Yeah. Um, I want to, I'm, I'm, it's, <laughs> I'm going to have to live to a hundred to be able to do this, but my goal is to be able to memorize the Quran in English, be able to memorize the Quran in Arabic. And then I want to be able to speak an Arabic dialect. Um, I don't know which dialect yet, which is why I haven't started studying, um, like the Arabic like language and then the Quran, I've just started recitations in Arabic. Um, so while I'm doing the recitations, I'm obviously learning what it all means. I'm burning one live tonight. Oh, I don't know what that means. Is that a threat? Don't burn anything unless it's a good thing. Then burn, burn the house down. Have you ever checked if you've got BPD? <laughs> I can't answer that question. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, we're, we're gonna... Next! You are not Muslim. I am Muslim. I like oatmeal. Yeah, oatmeal check. How much did they pay you to become Muslim? I actually became Muslim completely on my own. Um, it was after my brother died, I kind of had like a religious crisis, started looking for God, found God, and uh, I kind of just picked up the friends along the way. Um, so yeah, nobody paid me, nobody introduced me to Islam, I introduced myself to Islam. Visit Morocco, Moroccan Arabic isn't hard to understand. I've actually gotten that a lot. A lot of people have told me to, um, choose Moroccan Arabic. 
Have you read any hadiths? If so, which ones? I have not. Um, so coming from a Christian background, um, I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling with the hadiths uh, be for the same reason I struggled with the Bible. Uh, authentication purposes. So I've already talked about this a few times. This seems to get my chat really angry. So please just, guys, like I'm literally a revert. Um, I need to sit down with a scholar um, so that they can take me through like the step-by-step -step process of authenticating the hadiths um, because I can't, I can't follow a book blindly. I just can't do it. I did that my whole life. Um, and if I can't, if a, if a scholar can't prove to me that the hadiths are 100% authentic, I can't take them as God's word. I can't take them as the prophet's word because they might not even be the prophet's word. So I need, I need a scholar to sit me down and um, make me feel better. Just confirm any of my um, worries, I guess. I'm not looking for sugarcoating. I'm looking for authentication. So how are they authenticating these books? So what's the process? Um, so, um, and I know it's, I know it's a complicated process. So that's why I want to like sit down with a scholar so they can just like take me through it um, and try to help me understand so that I can go ahead and read the Hadiths because I can't follow something I've never read. So, um, a lot of the things I follow are not like standard Islamic practice because I haven't read the Hadiths. I can't, I can't practice something I don't know. Um, so inshallah. Do you think the Bible has changed? Well, it has. I mean, it, it's proven to have changed. Um, And it's not even necessarily that it was like changed, it's that it was altered. It's not in its like original form. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, and that's not to say that the entire thing is bull. I bet you majority of it is true. But the problem is, is how do we know what is and what isn't? And that's why Muslims stay away from it. We're still encouraged to read it. We're still encouraged to study it because again, a lot of it is likely to be true. Um, and we're supposed to be able to learn from it and kind of understand and make connections. Um, we're just not allowed to take it as word. We're not allowed to take it as God's word. Um, but we can still consider it the teachings of Jesus. We can still kind of consider it, um, you know, the most accurate, or I guess it's the closest we'll get to the prophet's teachings, Jesus Christ's, uh, peace be upon him's teachings. So you believe the Messiah is coming up. So Muslims believe that Jesus will, um, I, I like to say it. Muslims don't like when I say reincarnate because he's not technically dead, but it makes, it makes sense for Christians for me to say reincarnate. He's coming back from the heavens. So essentially we believe that Jesus didn't actually die. He was essentially sent to another realm where he is waiting until the day of judgment to come back and finish his prophecy. So we believe he will be resurrected. He will come back, even though he's not like actually dead. He will come back to earth, our realm, our planet. Um, and he will be there on judgment day to beat the antichrist, the Dajjal. Um, we have very similar beliefs on that scale. We just don't believe he died. We don't believe he was God. But if you didn't take the Hadith, how can you say that Jesus is coming back? It's in the Quran. Sorry, your age. I'm 21. If you think that I can just pick the Sura out after <laughs> being a revert for a year, you're crazy. I have no idea where in the Quran it is. I just know it's in the Quran. Jesus is mentioned. He's him and Moses, I think, are the most mentioned prophets. Or is it Abraham? I don't know, but he's in there a lot. What's your background? Ethnically, I'm German, but I was born and raised in Canada. One year, yeah. Yeah, I converted last Ramadan, alhamdulillah. Have you been to Mecca? I want to go to Mecca, inshallah. Um, obviously, 
all Muslims are Islamically obligated to visit Mecca for Hajj. Um, it's just expensive, so inshallah, once I uh, can afford it, if I'll ever be able to afford it, um, I would love, 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 love to see Mecca.